I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a Happy Mother's Day garden. I take three fingers on the left, down towards the bottom, and I put a dot. Three fingers on the right, put a dot. Come back to the left and let's draw a straight line down. Come to the right, straight line down. Come back to the left, we're going to connect the two with a straight line. I come back to the left. Put a little straight line on the left, little straight line on the right, and now we're going to draw a straight line all the way across, connect. Starting right here on the left, I draw a straight diagonal down, straight line over, straight diagonal down, connect. Come back to the middle, straight diagonal down, straight line over, straight diagonal, diagonal down and connect. Come over on the right, straight diagonal down, straight line over, straight diagonal down, connect. We're going to come back to the left and we're just going to draw a little straight line, straight line, straight line, connect, like a skinny rectangle on top. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Come back to the first and just add little straight lines going all the way across. Middle, little straight lines going all the way across. On the right side, straight lines going all the way across. Come back to the first one on the left and put a dot and we're going to draw a curve line down on the right. Come back to the dot curve line down on the left. Come over here in the center and we're just going to draw one, two, three straight lines. Come over to the right, we're going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line, connect and draw it again, wavy, wavy, wavy line, connect. Come back to the first one. We're going to draw a curve line down, curve line down. Come to the second one. Curve line down, curve line down. Come to the third one, we're going to change the direction so it's going towards the left. Curve line, curve line. Come back to the first. Curve line in, down, connect. Curve line out, in, connect. Second one. Curve line out, in, connect. Curve line out, in, connect. Last one on the, on the right. Curve line out, in, connect. Curve line out, in, connect. Okay, now come back to the first one. Let's put a dot and we're going to draw a flat oval. Connect. Put a dot. Flat oval. Connect. Put a dot. Flat oval. Connect. Now right here I didn't quite connect, I just add a little line. Now, starting over here I draw a curve line, curve line, keep going, keep going, keep going, all the way around, connect. Second one, curve line, curve line, keep going, keep going, all the way around, and connect. Third one, Curve line, curve line, curve line, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, connect. Come over to the first one. Big curve line, little, little curve line, dot, dot. Second one, big curve line, little curve line, little curve line, dot, dot. Third one. Big curve line, little curve line, little curve line, dot, dot. Okay. Now, starting over here on the left, I put a dot and I draw a curve line down on the right, curve line down on the left, connect. Come down, curve, put a dot, curve line down on the right, 
curve line down on the left connect let's put one more curve line down on the right curve line down on the left now come over here put a dot curve line down on the right curve line down connect on the left put a dot curve line down on the right curve line down on the left connect one more if you can fit it curve line curve line one more curve line curve line now I'm going to come back up and I'm going to fill in my spaces with baby circles some of you might need more some of you might need as many but if you have a space we're going to fill that in with a baby circle going down I think I can fit one more okay now inside here you can leave it blank and just use it as a holder for your your house plants or you can write happy mothers happy mothers day it's up to you okay but I'm putting happy mother's day you can leave it blank if you want okay let's see how we're gonna color this in okay the way I color is every space that has the same color I try to do it all at one time now you can use different colors than I'm using because this is kind of a creative project color wise these are just the ones I chose see this little guy right here I'm gonna do this one right now because I have my red out jump over take your time every one space that you think is going to be red I'm going to color it in now and then I put that color to the side I don't put it back in my bag but at least I know okay I've done all the reds and I think I have okay next I'm going to take my yellow and I'm going to do the face space up here of each one of these spaces and I'm using yellow so I don't lose my face so if you use a light color you're okay you use a dark color you might lose your face then I come down and I color in this space yellow and I'm gonna put a stripe yellow I'm gonna add a different color and above and below my wavy line I'm putting yellow then I'm just putting one two one straight lines of yellow okay next pink again you may do these colors or you may choose your own it doesn't matter because these are just design elements that's what we call color it's part of your design overall so I'm going to just add my pink put that color away now I have my blue and I'm going to do all of my little spaces up here blue now again this is another choice you can do a different color if you want this one doesn't really matter because you're not going to lose your faces if you choose a different color a darker color the only one I'd be concerned about is the one on the face like you could use pink instead of yellow and that would work because that's a light color okay now I do my stems I'm going to do these green and you can do these any color green you have this is just a regular green okay you will color in way better than me okay naturally now that I look at this I can see that I did forget something but let's do our purple first so I'm doing an A, B, A, B pattern at the top for each one of my spaces. So this is an A, B, A, B design. Then I come back and this should be purple. Now you can do a different color. Again, it's like I told you, you can choose your own on this one. And I'm going to do the top part of my skinny rectangle up here. I'm going to do it purple also. 
just to kind of tie in my whole design. Sometimes you can do that with color, and this is a good example of that. So it looks cohesive, a cohesive design. And my little exclamation point, I'm doing purple too. Now here's the part I forgot. The B part of my AB is going to be yellow. So get your yellows out if you use yellow and just do the B part of your AB pattern up here at the top. And then finally, you don't have to add the stripes, but I always like to put a little bit of color. So I'm using blue-green in the background of my picture. And again, you don't have to do this. This is just me being me. Again, this is a good one for making some color choices on your own. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my Happy Mother's Day garden all colored in. This would be a good chance to use and, and decide what colors to use, maybe different from what I use, because you are an artist. Okay, bye-bye.